See that? I got this game two days ago. Uh, that is uh, Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed Ecto Edition. I got this game two days ago. I pre-ordered it. It got sent to my house at launch. And I've tried to play this game for two fucking days straight. And this is what I got. So, I'm a, I'm a little bit uh, pissed off. <laughs> I, uh, now, evidently, Ilphonic has uh, a bit of a reputation when it comes to uh, quality control. But uh, I don't think that's an excuse. Uh, because apparently this game is a lot of fun, uh, a bit repetitive, but fun. Uh, I, I, I don't know how, like, I, I couldn't tell because as you can see, every time I've tried to boot this fucking game up, I get this. Software was closed because an error occurred. What error? Fuck if I know. It doesn't have a code, doesn't have, uh, you know, a thing... Where I can like call a number, nothing. Um, I'm on the Discord right now, and evidently I'm not the only one. And uh, and quite frankly, there's no fucking excuse for this. There is absolutely no excuse for this shit. I don't care that oh the game just launched. You know, you know, give it time. Uh, I pre-ordered this fucking game, and I should be able to play it out of the fucking box. I, you know, I paid for this game to, to be able to play it the second it comes to my house. Not, I didn't pay for this game for for me to play it two weeks from now when they fix a bug. When when they finally fix the fucking bugs that are basically, that, that I guess are, are riddled in this fucking thing. And I know what people are going to say. Well, that's what you get for playing the Switch version. It shouldn't be like that, though. It shouldn't. You know? And I get, bugs are going to happen. But, you know, you know that, that, that's just the name of the game industry. You know, bugs are going to happen. And they're, they're, they're you know, this, it's this whole, oh, fuck it, we'll fix it in post mentality. You know, that, that wasn't like that <laughs> when I was a kid. You know? But, <sighs> I'm frustrated. I, I'm I'm really frustrated at this shit, like, and I'm not kidding you when I said that I tried booting this fucking game for two days in a row, and the, I I still get this. You know, evidently there's a, there's a workaround if you uh, play it on an account that doesn't have online, but uh, it shouldn't be like this. You know, apparent and also, oh well. If you clear cash, if you clear the cash, your switch it might work. No, I don't. I don't, I don't fucking care. You know, it, it, this shouldn't happen. Period. You know, I, I shouldn't have to wait two weeks for the game to be in a playable state. <laughs> you know, the day, two weeks after the day, it comes to my house. Uh, weeks before, you get what I'm saying. You know, this is this is bullshit. This is absolute bullshit, and it, it shouldn't matter that it's the that it's the inferior Switch version. You know, I, I play Switch ports all the time. You know, maybe you know I like I like the Switch. You know, call me a soy boy. You know, call me a you know call me a Nintendo fag. Whatever you want to call. It. I I like the Switch. You know, I, I like the library that's on the Switch. I'm a retro gamer. I you know I love retro gaming. I'm not a I'm not a big FPS junkie. I'm not uh, I'm not into sports games, uh, unless you count wrestling. But I haven't played like a proper wrestling game in fucking years, unless you count AEW. Um, <laughs> I don't play fighting games that often. Uh, that that that's little <laughs> Mortal Kombat one for the Switch, fucking abysmal. Even with all the patches that they. You know, tried to shove in there. It, it still looks and plays like shit. You know, people give Mortal Kombat 11 shit. That game looks fucking amazing on the Switch compared to MK1. You know, 
You know what MK11 has that MK1 doesn't? Moving fabric. I saw a match on the Switch where, like, I don't know what it's called. It's like the sash. Like, you, you know how the MK Ninjas, they have, uh, like, a sash, a, a pelvic curtain, whatever they call it, right? Long cloth pelvic curtain. Uh, Reptiles doesn't move <laughs> at all. It's just a static, like, piece of cardboard. Uh, that is that's fucking inexcusable. And and they had the audacity to charge seventy dollars for that, you know, when it when it runs at twenty frames a second. Where am I going with this? Oh, but yeah, this. I'll get. I'll, I'll give them another day. I'll give them another day. If I still see this shit when I come home from work, I'm getting my fucking money back. This is ridiculous. And, and the people are making excuses for this shit. So, oh, you know, just release, you know, you know, give it time, you know, give it time to fix the bug. They should have thought about that <laughs> before they fucking released the thing. Am I entitled? Does that make me an entitled gamer for expecting a game to not be a bug riddled piece of shit when it launches? Is that, is that entitlement? You know, you expect the game to be playable when it's released. <laughs> oh, we'll fix it in post. No, fuck you. you. That that kind of, that shit is what's ru is what's ruining gaming. Uh, look, look, remember the launch of Street Fighter Five? Like like, where like half the game was missing. Remember that shit? That was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> half the content was missing on launch because they tried to rush that shit out. I don't know what to say about this. I really don't. And I'm not lying when I said that I got this game like two days ago, you know, the, on the launch day, right? I pre-ordered it, you know, I was like, oh, you know, I want to play Spirits Unleashed. I love Ghostbusters, but I don't have the consoles for it. Oh, well, we got you covered. We got a Switch version. All right, cool. I pre-ordered it. You know, comes comes with the sweet-ass glow-in-the-dark fucking box and everything. You know, you know, I get it in the mail. I rip it open, put it in. And, well, you saw that. And I must have tried, like, ten times two days ago. Ten more times yesterday. And then this time. And I'm going to give them by tomorrow. If this shit isn't fixed, I'm, I'm sending this fucker back. You know, because it's a waste of goddamn money. If you're not gonna sh if you're not gonna give me a game that works, then then I want my money back. That's really all I get. There's my review of Spirits Unleashed. Couldn't play it. Zero out of ten. Big L over and out.